Hi all of you. Today we are going to discuss how to create a project in Python using MySQL database. So in here this section we are going to create a billing software. We know that to create that first we need a database and we have to insert data into database like products and all so let's see how we can do that for that i'm starting from scratch i already created a folder inside that folder i'm starting with product adding functionality we know that first we have to insert product into database then only we can go for billing so how we can insert product into database that's what first things so let's see how we can do so first some ua interface we need here i am using tk interface this is one of the most famous interface in python using that inter interface we can create your own ui so this is a module importing function from tk in the module import stars so this module is interface is important so next we know that we have to connect to the database for that we need to use another module this is called mysql connector this module is help to handling mysql connections and other query and all execution and all so if you are not install in your system you have to install that pipe install mysql connector i already installed that so next is we have to connect to the mysql database so how we can do that here i am using mysql connector so here we are using mysql connector connect localhost test password hash one two three four building software so this is the database name and this is the username this is the password localhost is the host so if you are not installed SAMP in your system, you have to install SAMP. You can download it from internet online. So we have SAMP here. We have start Apache and MySQL. We are using this MySQL only for connecting. So I already started MySQL. So we it's easy to handle. Here PHP admin is there. This is a UI for database administration. Already I created billing software database. So next is we have already created a database so connection we did so let's see so this is the connection cursor we are doing cursor so the default To define my sucus is returned so this is the return variable this is the connection so let's run this script see so this is the response object of that my sql is the my db so billing source so first we are going to insert data into the database that is product into the database so we need to create product tab so i'm creating product tab here go always first field is hiding you know that here given auto increment primary i have given the id and with auto increment next is p9 wakya p9 means product name next is price here i'm giving wakya around you can and you can give float or anything you can give next is description about the product this description I will give a text. We we'll create a database with tab product. 
so product table is created so this is product table now we are going to create a class for the applications so constructor we have to create for the class this is a constructor so here let's see we can see this is the constructor is automatic created with the class so frame we are doing with the help of tk interface you can load the frame frame height width and color we are mentioning here so this is the object for tk interface so we are passing creating time of that class object application the kind of object is passing inside that so it will call automatically then it will automatically set the frame so this is the constructor we know that whenever this object application object is created it's automatically calling this constructor so automatically frame will be created so this is a frame root dot main loop this root is the tk interface so let's run this script see tk interface frame is created this is a frame so next is we have to add other parameter like heading here i am creating label add product heading and that placing in the the so add product with this heading for that next is we have to create product name so label self load left this self is the we know that this is a tk interface parameter this is a left side then text field name is product name then placing x is to get 20 y equal to 50. See product name came. So next is we have to input the product name. For that we need an input for field. For that we are using entry. So with we are specifying for the text input text field. So let's run this script. How it will work? Save product name input field is created so we can enter here product name self loaded width then the name of the field is product underscore ent then we are placing it to x equal to 120 y equal to 50 that's a word we have to place next is i'm creating product price same like label for the product price price place we have to specify where it should add in inside the frame so product price product name so same way we have to create input entry for product price this entry product ent price ent and price ent see product price product price Next is we need to create a submit button. So submit button to add product. Here add product button is created. This should be a little bit. So next is the functionality part. I'm going to define add product functions. Then we are getting the value of this P name, ENT, product name. So self p name dot get. So we will get the value inside that variable. This. So this is a function add product. We need to call that function on button submit. See command self dot add product. This is a function name. So it will call add product function and print that name. Let's see how it is working. For working that, here product name I am testing. H 
and um, jeans add so you can see hm and jeans he came here we have given print self dot p9 because that value is coming here same way price also i am entering so next is we have to check for validation if product name is null we have to display some warning message so let's say if condition i put self dot p9 equal to null tk interface message box show info warning please fill info so i am not adding anything simply submitting c9 tk interface is not defined so message box is also a module inside that we are not importing that so we have to import tk interface message box so imported that message box Now see without adding i'm clicking see fill please fill product so this message is coming there so next case is message was showing please fill product name otherwise we have to insert into database please fill product name so I didn't add product name. I'm adding product name. It price also we have to mention forty five dollar. See forty five dollar came here. Just we added this self dot price there. So this is the simple mysql query we have if we check it out the violation if the violation is satisfied we are inserting into the product table insert into product product name price value then we are passing the value cell dot p name and cell dot price so mysql we have the database connection a sql sql value mysql db coming so let's see i'm adding and um, jeans price is forty five dollar. Add so this is executed. Let's see in database product. You are browsing that. See, it's inserted into database. We can try for adding one more product. Jump shirts, thirty-five dollar. Adding CSM side thirty-five dollar. Two things. Which are um, T-shirt thirty dollar add it's inserted there so this is the simplest way we are inserting inside the database so already we added the products so we are here yeah, i'm commanding that that's why it's coming there So same way if you want to add one more field description so that one i'm going to add description same like product price label self product product price product description field name is ds ds place systems running that product description so this is the case we are not given the spacing same place only we are given so why i had added extra so you can see that it came little bit down so this is why direction 
we are given 150 this is 100 so product description is added same way entry for the product description you are placing entry self load left with DS entry DS entry place so here also we have to check it out 140 actually see product description also okay so description end we are getting that value here okay yes i got products so this is value you have to be here print out the get value now we are giving ds so one more field we are adding next is description description we added execute and come We are going to run the script. Product time H and M jeans blue price is fifty dollar. Description is best quality. Add. So we can check the database see best word came and HMT jeans blue so our first step is over we inserted database that's product into database so next is we have to go for billing sections so we'll continue that in next section